When you're building a gaming PC, the most important component is the graphics card. There's no doubt about that. However, have you wondered how big a role the processor plays during gaming workloads? You wouldn't pair a high-end graphics card with a 10-year-old mid-range processor, would you? Of course not. The graphics card always has to be accompanied by an appropriately powered processor that can take advantage of the graphics card's prowess and give you the best possible performance. Figuring which processor to pair with your graphics card can be quite the challenge, especially considering that most reviewers only test the best processors with the best graphics cards and the mid-range components are often not looked at. Let's change that with this particular video. We'll be pairing the latest AMD Ryzen 5000 series processors based on AMD's Zen 3 micro architecture with a really powerful AMD Radeon graphics card, namely the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT. We'll then run some of the most popular video games that have been released in the past couple of months to see how impactful each processor can be and how much of an improvement can we gain by upgrading to a better processor. To do this, we'll be building a PC with the following configuration. For the processors, we'll be using the AMD Ryzen 5600X, Ryzen 7 5800X and Ryzen 9 5900X. This will be paired with a Gigabyte B550 Aorus Pro motherboard and for the graphics card, we'll be using the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT. For the RAM, we'll be using two sticks of HyperX Fury DDR4 memory of 8GB each. And for the CPU cooler, we'll be using the NZXT Kraken X62. Lastly, for the power supply, we'll be using the Cooler Master V1000. And we'll be running the following games on this build. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, Death Stranding, Godfall, Marvel Avengers, Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's take a look at the performance of these processors. The Ryzen 5 5600X is a hexa-core processor with multi-threading and this becomes our baseline for the comparison with the rest of the Ryzen processors. We can see that the Ryzen 5 5600X helped us get 101 FPS in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, 173 FPS in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, 199 FPS in Death Stranding, 194 FPS in Godfall, 130 FPS in Marvel Avengers and 107 FPS in Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's move on to the 5800X. The AMD Ryzen 7 5800X adds two additional cores and the max boost clock is also higher at 4.7 GHz. It does improve performance as we can see that it scored 103 FPS in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, 176 FPS in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, 203 FPS in Death Stranding, 198 FPS in Godfall, 133 FPS in Marvel Avengers, and 109 FPS in Red Dead Redemption 2. We can see that the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X scores higher than the 5600X across all games. And then we have the Ryzen 9 5900X. There are a lot more cores on the Ryzen 9 5900X. In fact, twice as much as the Ryzen 5 5600X. Plus, there's multi-threading and the max boost clock goes up even higher to 4.8 GHz. It scores 104 FPS in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, 178 FPS in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, 206 FPS in Death Stranding, 200 FPS in Godfall, 134 FPS in Marvel Avengers, and 110 FPS in Red Dead Redemption 2. These numbers are also higher across all titles than what the previous two processors scored. We saw how much of an impact the processor makes on gaming workloads. And more importantly, we understood how much of a difference each upgrade in the Ryzen 5000 series impacts the same. Hopefully, you now have a better understanding of which AMD Ryzen 5000 processor you should be getting for your next gaming build.